It's finally official. From 2035, the only new cars and vans available to purchase in the European Union will be 100% climate neutral. That means no more new petrol or diesel cars for sale, replaced instead by growing numbers of electric and hydrogen vehicles. However, a last minute twist, courtesy mainly of automotive powerhouse Germany, means that the internal combustion engine will remain with us. So what happened and what does this mean for European car buyers? Let's take a closer look. One of the most controversial and impactful elements in the political debate was the role of e-fuels. So what actually are e-fuels? Well, let's start with the basics. The E in e-fuels stands for electricity. Using a machine called an electrolyzer, electricity is used to split water into its core elements, hydrogen and oxygen. This hydrogen is the basis for any e-fuel, be it synthetic diesel, e-petrol or even e-kerosene. While hydrogen itself cannot be burned in a standard combustion engine directly, if a carbon atom is added, a liquid fuel is created that can be. If this carbon is sucked from the atmosphere, added to hydrogen, and then released during combustion, then the process is carbon neutral, as the net outcome is zero. Thus, if made with green electricity and with CO2 taken from the atmosphere, e-fuels can be considered a green fuel. Simple. So back to the legislation. In October 2022, after months of negotiations, an informal deal was struck between the European Parliament and Member States, where they agreed to retain the 100% carbon reduction target for new cars and vans. However, days before Member States were due to sign off on that deal, usually considered a formality, several countries publicly had a change of heart. Italy announced that despite previously agreeing to the deal, it would now vote against it, and others, such as Bulgaria and Poland, followed suit. Germany also declared that without new assurances from the Commission on the role of e-fuels, it would abstain. Collectively, this meant that the deal no longer had sufficient support. After weeks of internal discussions, the European Commission agreed to Germany's request and proposed new legal measures to ensure cars running exclusively on e-fuels can be registered for sale after 2035. As a result, the deal passed, with only Poland voting against and Italy, Romania and Bulgaria abstaining. Essentially, the EU's most populous country used its influence to ensure that new cars powered by e-fuels will continue to be sold after the 2035 cutoff date. So, in the coming decades, European consumers looking for a new car will be able to choose between an electric vehicle, a hydrogen vehicle or, thanks mainly to Germany, an e-fuel powered vehicle. So what was promised by the Commission in this proposal to get the deal over the line? Well, under the proposal, a new category of vehicles will be created for cars and vans running solely on e-fuels. In fact, the Commission wants to see technology installed in all e-fuel cars that would essentially stop the vehicle from operating if any other fuel type is detected. Such a device doesn't currently exist, but it's speculated that it could function similarly to anti-drunk driving technology where the detection of alcohol on a driver's breath disables the car. In addition to these technical issues, there are concerns over the cost of e-fuels, which are currently prohibitively expensive. While prices are expected to drop as supply increases, it's likely that they will remain primarily for wealthier car owners. Think Porsche drivers more than Fiat Punto drivers, with no offense to Fiat Punto drivers. So, despite the legal leeway provided to e-fuels and the retention of the combustion engine for passenger cars, it's safe to say that the future of European vehicles remains primarily electric. <laughs>